that is in the heart of human selfishness and just pure human supremacy, I don't know what is. So today we're going to be taking a look at this uh, investigation by the Animal Justice Project in the UK. Uh, it's called Dairy Steel Kills and it says uh, the Animal Justice Project has investigated over a five month period from November 2020 to March 2021 calf slaughter in its entirety from the dairy farm to a livestock centre to a slaughterhouse. We have caught on camera for the first time in the UK the killing of male calves inside the slaughterhouse. Given that supermarkets, milk processes and assurance schemes have been prohibiting the killing of calves on the farm, could loopholes result in an increase in the number being sent to markets and slaughter? So, interesting because that, that supermarkets and they're, they're looking to outlaw um, or ban the shooting of calves on the farm straight after birth. You know, this is like the most, usually the most economically viable option. But then what happens to them? Like if they're born male, they will just go to the market and to the slaughterhouse. You know, like, it's almost like, oh my God, that's horrific. Stop shooting baby calves on the farm. Send them to a slaughterhouse to get stabbed in the throat instead. Wow, great solution. Interesting. Now, so then they just go into talk about numbers, uh, about 65,000 male calves under a month old were killed in slaughterhouses in 2020 in the UK. Red Tractor, Arla, Muller, plus many supermarkets, including Tesco, Waitrose, and Morrisons, have all have varying pol policies attempting to prevent this killing, but there are loopholes and, and calves will not always be protected. Some of these policies only protect calves for up to eight weeks, and others do not pre prevent calves being sold at the supermarket. Therefore, the fate of many of these calves is to enter the integrated calf rearing and fattening system where they'll be killed from 12 months old for their flesh. But thousands will still be unsuitable and unprofitable. You know, and the thing is, like, who the hell is micromanaging every single, you know, dairy farm to make sure they're not killing calves on their farm. Like, there are only so many investigators. <laughs> like, honestly, do you think, no, farmers are just going to be like, okay, yeah, no worries. I'm going to stop shooting calves at once, even though it hurts my pocket. You know, uh, I know they've been using uh, something called sexed semen, which um, sort of like a genetically designed semen that would give you more of a chance of, you know, birthing female calves. But, um... Still, it, it still, it still doesn't work 100% of the time. So what we're gonna actually do is check out this investigation. I'm not going to show any of the cruelty to you guys. I'm just gonna to react to it. Um, if you wanna see this, you can go to Dairy Steel Kills, uh, this expired campaign uh, by the Animal Justice Project, or you can find it on the Animal Justice Project YouTube channel. So let's just have a, have a watch here. How cute are bobby calves, by the way? They're just like little puppy dogs. So adorable. Like, let's just uh, reinforce the fact that these calves had mothers who are mourning the loss of their calves. And these calves are going to the slaughterhouse to get murdered so people can have a dash of milk in their coffee. If that isn't the height of human selfishness and just pure human supremacy, I don't know what is. To steal babies from a raped dairy cow, literally, and murder them so you can have a dash of milk in your coffee or a slice of cheese in your sandwich is just the biggest injustice for such a trivial reason. Like, I just don't understand why people can't connect the dots easily and go, well, that's definitely not worth it <laughs> you know what i mean but some people oh i like the taste of cheese you know like tell these calves here that you like the taste of cheese more than their life sainsbury's sainsbury's 
So these are calf dealers. Products of the dairy industry. <clears throat> Here we go, Derek Whittle of Oakland's bids on calves at Halls, auctions and, barber and barber's market. So they're basically getting auctioned off the cattle, slaves, these little infant slaves. So basically a lot of these male calves are gonna go to be slaughtered a little bit later on, probably after about a year old. It's like, hey, let's ban shooting the baby calves but let's give them a year to live and then we'll shoot them and cut their head off anyway. Like. Look at him. Look at that. Like, they don't care about these animals, mate. Oh, farmers love their animals. So what's happening, because I'm probably not going to show you this, um, because YouTube will just censor this video, but he's just booting these little infant calves down this ramp here, you know, like rag dolls and they're flailing around and smashing their face on the ground. It's just shows that these animals are not viewed as sentient beings worthy of respect, just viewed as property. You know. Look at how they're grabbing this calf. He's, hit, he's actually terrifying these little animals. Like, dude, how would you like it done back to you, mate? You know? Ain't no fun when the rabbit's got a gun. Calves were distressed and panicked. Of course they are, they're, they've only just been born. <laughs> they're like infant little animals, babies, and they're being terrorized by full grown adults. I hope you feel real good about yourself terrorizing these babies, mate. So they haven't had food and water for 21 hours. These calves are just one feed, no water in 29 hours. You know, and how often does this stuff happen, you know? This is, like, you know how long this, this investigation took nearly six months or something like this? He's swearing at the calf, booting them. This is common, I see this all the time, eh? Like, how often is this happening? Like, there's only so many resources to investigate these places. How many dairy, dairy farms are there? How much of this stuff goes on that you just don't ever get to see? and never gets exposed because we just don't have the resources to expose them all. And what really pisses me off is that like farmers are always like, yeah, no, nah, like what happens in factory farms? Like we don't agree with that. We have this humane farm. Why aren't you exposing the cruelty of other farmers if you care so much about the animals? You never really see farmers gathering in this footage of animals being beaten and sworn at. You know, if you really cared about the animals like you claim, why is it always animal rights activists that have to expose this footage. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really make sense, does it? You know, like, you love the animals, you know, we care for our animals, but you never call out any of the farmers who are booting the animals' heads in? Nah, never do that, do you? Yeah, it doesn't really, it's not really consistent with your so-called love for the animals. 30, there are 34 abattoirs in the UK which kill calves, so 34 is a decent amount. So these calves were being slaughtered in Chester. It's a very thorough investigation, this one. So Derek Whittle from Oakland's left tiny unweaned calves as young as nine days old in the slaughterhouse Lairage overnight during winter, unchecked on arrival by, animal welfare, by an animal welfare officer. So just basically leaving infant calves there to like await their death all night, you know, in some cold prison. Under legislation, unweaned animals should be killed immediately after arriving at the slaughterhouse. Uh, so what, what the Animal Justice Project are trying to do is get them for breaking the law. I mean, I know the Animal Justice Project don't agree with killing um, calves immediately, you know, at the slaughterhouse. I know the Animal Justice Project don't agree with killing calves at all. <laughs> I know the Animal Justice Project don't agree with killing animals unjustifiably at all. I know the Animal Justice Project are an um, animal rights organisation. <laughs> But what they are, I guess what their goal is, is to get small wins by getting, by exposing the fact that these people are breaking laws that are in place to regulate these industries. Even though the laws that are in place are already unjust. I guess the idea is that it, it's unnecessary torture to leave the calves suffering overnight in the slaughterhouse, even though they shouldn't be in there anyway. I don't want them to be killed immediately or later on or suffer or any of this or exploited. Here he is, big bad farmer terrorizing the little little calves, big bad tough guy. 
You know, it's like these these cars are such an inconvenience to these, you know, murderers. Oh, come on, hurry up. You're ruining my day. Stop being such an inconvenience to me. I, I want to just shoot you in the head and cut your head off and get it over with. You know, so it's such an inconvenience for you, isn't it, Mr. Farmer, Mr. Slaughterhouse Worker? Now the calves are just getting bolt gunned in the head um, in a small room that they can't escape from. The calf is being uh, hoisted up by their ankle. So what they've actually captured is a, a bolt gun failing, so he's had to re-stun a calf about four times. So the bodies are convulsing. I'm not going to show you this, guys. Um, you can go and watch it and share it with dairy consumers yourself. Um, but I'm just giving you an idea of what we're looking at here. So a little calf is being murdered next to a dairy cow who was spent... I actually haven't seen a calf and dairy cow be murdered at the same time, both hanging up at the same time. So the idea is that no matter what, whether they're killed on site, immediately, 12 months later, weird for beef, they are always going to be executed. Dairy cows will be executed when their milk production declines. Calves are always going to face a slaughterhouse at some stage, whether female or male. You know, the, the whole system of animal agriculture and the dairy industry is what needs to end. You know, animals need rights. The right to not be exploited, to not be com commodified, and all of these other welfare issues like the cruelty and the torture and things like this cannot happen to an animal if they have basic rights. So all this stuff about you know animal welfare, we've got to treat them nicer, we have to increase the welfare laws. Animal welfare has been around for a very long time, okay, and this stuff is still happening. But what animals actually need is to be viewed at, in law, as sentient beings with basic rights. And then you couldn't um, mistreat them, you would be breaking the law. Like, humans have rights, and if you mistreat a human, um, you'd be breaking the law. So there you go, take action today, dairystillkills.org. Um, if you want to support the Animal Justice Project, you can go to their website or follow them on social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and they have a website as well. If you wanted to help them out with their investigations, you could send a donation their way. But I think what would they would appreciate with the, all the work that's gone into this investigation is that people see it, the people that need to see it, see it. Yeah, like I said, like, exposing the fact that these criminals are breaking the law and breaking their own regulations which are still unjust <laughs> they're breaking the laws that are already unjust and they're somehow still breaking them <laughs> you know what i mean like we don't even agree with the laws that are set in place i think they're still horrific and immoral and you know cut into animal rights but they still seem to break them don't they they can't even adhere to their own disgusting animal welfare laws just want to thank everyone in the Animal Justice Project for exposing this. I know how much time and effort can go into these investigations and um, thank you for being a voice for the animals. They desperately need it. And uh, here's to abolishing the dairy industry.